Praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Nick here with another devotion from the book of Psalm. So glad you can join us this morning and every morning at 7 a.m. as we continue to journey through the scriptures, as we continue to work through this book. We're so glad you can join us again. Um, if you haven't done so, please like, share, and subscribe. And of course, comment. Uh, let somebody know that we're on today as we continue to journey through this great book. Of course, follow the church, follow Bishop if you can. Um, go to their pages, David G. Evans 1 at BBC of NJ. Follow, watch everything, learn as much as you can. Um, all righty, we are in Psalm 133. So Psalm 133, a very uh, familiar psalm, very famous one. And this particular psalm from a historical context um, is a prayer for national unity. It's a prayer for national unity. It's one of the assenting psalms. It's a psalm that's expressing hope that God would reunite the northern and the southern kingdoms. Um, Jerusalem at the center, king reigning forever, um, has a sense of royalty to it, and Aaron is a priest. Now, why am I talking about this? Because if you remember uh, when David became king, Judah, he became the king of Judah first. They said, you know, you're our king, you're flesh and blown. He becomes the king of Israel later, and the whole nation is united under one king. Solomon takes over, becomes king, is completely united. Solomon gets into some trouble. Um, God judges him and says he's going to divide the kingdom in half, the southern kingdom, the northern kingdom. And that's why you see throughout the book of First Kings, uh, Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, um, this one became king of Israel. This king became king over Judah. Um, you had these divisions and the prayer is that God would bring these together, that God wants his people to be one. Because here's the thing, when they went into exile, all of them went in. They went in at different times, but all of them went in, whether they from Jerusalem or from Judah, all of them went in because the reality is God wants to reunite. And after they came out, they, their prayer was reunite us again. We're supposed to be one nation. What does that mean for relevant terms today? I don't care if you're Baptist, Kojic, Apostolic, uh, Orthodox, whatever, this or that. All of us are the church. We are the people of God. No matter what denomination you come from, background you come from, we are all made to drink in one spirit and we are all part of one body, according to Paul in 1 Corinthians 12. And part of our prayers is, Lord, bring your people together. Reunite your people that we are one church. We may see things differently. We may have different traditions, but we are one church. And we all should come together. So this particular a psalm of ascent is a psalm of unity. And he says, how very good and pleasant is it, it, it is when kindred live together in unity, when family, when people who are supposed to be together come together united. When we overcome our little petty differences and learn to come together united unto God. He said, it is like the precious oil on the head running down upon the beard, on the beard of Aaron running down over the collar of his robes, which means that the whole entire thing gets this oil from top to bottom. God wants to unite us where the oil is flowing through all of us. All right. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion for the Lord ordained his blessing life forever more, which means this. I'm glad we talk about the anointing, but this scripture is about unity where the oil flows in unity and that God lets the blessing reside there as the people of God come together united. We have to get over all these little things, color difference, all these different things and come together as one body. And if there's one thing that's being revealed this season, is God is revealing the prejudices, the racism, the misogynistic, and all these different things that have been in the church. God is revealing that where people were using races, using scripture to justify their racism or their misogyny or all these different things. God is revealing it so it can be torn down. God wants to come back for a church without spot or wrinkle. 
Because when we come together, that oil flows through all of it. When we come together, the blessing resides. We are the people of God, the priests of the most high God, and we have to start acting like it. We're not going to agree on the same thing. We're not going to all like the same thing, but we serve one God and we are one body in God and Jesus is the head. We need to start praying for more unity and actually not just praying about it, but also working on it also working on a united people, but we cannot unite together as a group if we're still, we're not united internally. I can only be to you what I am myself. If I'm jacked up on the inside, it's going to reflect on the outside. God work on us so we can be a part of the uniting process and not the dividing process. When you go on social media, you see so much division. Nothing against speaking truth just about something, but so much division. We speak the truth in love because whether you like people or not, we are one body. And we want God to bring us together and we work to do the same, do our part. God will do his because how good and pleasant it is for his kindred, for his people to dwell together in unity. Treat people with love today, y'all. Lead with love. You don't have to like everybody, but lead with love. Come on, let's pray. Father, I thank you again for this moment. We appreciate you for this time. We thank you, Lord, for this great day that you have given. Another message about unity. And I pray that you would unite us as your people. One family under one God. Help us to overcome our petty differences and even some major ones. I pray that you would forgive us uh, for being... uh, you're not united on earth the way you desire. I pray that you would bring, bring a coming together of your people, a revival of sorts, a revival not just for us to come and jump, dance, and shout, but a revival that brings unity so the oil can flow properly and the blessing can reside forevermore. And Father, I thank you for calling us to you and calling us to each other. Help us to love you and to love each other. Something's going to challenge that love today, but teach us, Lord, how to live united. We may not all agree, but we can live united. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. So glad you can join us. See you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. as we do Psalm 134. It's a quick one. We'll pack with power and let God speak to us. See you tomorrow.